You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day, we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 7th, 2019. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Thursday. First is, futures pointed to a lower open pre-open. U.S. stock futures pointed to a lower open as market players looked ahead to the latest batch of quarterly earnings reports. Elsewhere, European stocks were lower, with nearly all major bourses across the continent in negative territory after the European Commission cut its growth forecasts for the region's economy. Earlier, shares in Asia closed mixed in subdued trade as several markets in the region remained closed for the Lunar New Year holiday. The second thing to know today is Twitter highlights another busy day of earnings. In earnings, most of the forecast will fall on Twitter, which reported before the bell today at 7 a.m. Eastern. The social media network was expected to post a fourth quarter earnings per share of 25 cents on revenue of $868.24 million. That's according to analysts polled by Investing.com. Perhaps of greater interest, Wall Street will be closely watching the change in monthly active user numbers, which usually plays a much bigger role in how a stock moves post earnings. Other high-profile names releasing quarterly earnings results today, Yum Brands, Grubhub, Dunkin' Brands, World Wrestling Entertainment, Philip Morris, Kellogg, T-Mobile, Marathon Petroleum, Tapestry, Tyson Foods, they all reported pre-market. Mattel, Skechers, Expedia, News Corp, and Western Union, they're among the companies set to report earnings after the market close. The third thing to know today is U.S. data and Fed speakers are on tap. On the data front, investors are likely to monitor weekly jobless claims figures due at 8.30 a.m. Eastern and consumer credit numbers at 3 p.m. Eastern. A number of Federal Reserve officials are also due to speak on Thursday as investors look for further hints into the outlook for monetary policy in the months ahead. Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan will be taking part in a Q&A in Texas at 9.15 Eastern Fed Vice Chair Richard Clarita will then speak about the neutral interest rate at the Czech National Bank Conference in Prague at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, At 7.30 p.m., St. Louis Fed President James Bullard will be speaking on the state of the U.S. economy in Minnesota. And Fed Chair Jeremy Powell said Wednesday, the U.S. economy remains in a good place with low unemployment and inflation near the Fed's 2% target. The dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, was up 2% at 96.35, the highest level since January 24. In the bond market, U.S. Treasury prices inched higher, pushing yields across the curve with the benchmark 10-year yield falling 2.67%. The fourth thing to know is Bank of England policy announcements. You got to know about that. In Europe, the Bank of England will hold a policy meeting, though no change is expected amid growing uncertainty over the prospect of Britain exiting the European Union on March 29th with no deal in place. 
Governor Mark Carney uh, and his fellow interest rate setters are expected to keep borrowing costs on hold at 0.75% when the Bank of England makes its policy announcement at 7 a.m. Eastern. The Bank of England's new economic growth and inflation forecasts will be watched as a sign whether it thinks investors are being too relaxed by betting on no rate hikes until late 2019. And the fifth thing to know today, related, May heads to Brussels for Brexit talks. Besides the BOE, political headlines will also be in focus as investors watch developments surrounding ongoing Brexit negotiations. UK Prime Minister Theresa May is heading to Brussels to seek changes to her Brexit deal with the European Union with just 50 days to go until the UK is due to leave the EU. She will meet with EU officials, including Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker, Council President Donald Tusk, and the European Parliament's Antonio Tajani, among others. The pound was lower, with the uh, cable down 0.25% to a two-week low of $1.29 even. Our second story, uh, we're going to talk about Twitter, CNBC.com. Twitter shares fall after it gives daily active user stats for the first time. Twitter on Thursday reported fourth quarter earnings and revenue that beat estimates, but the stock slid as much as 10% in early trading after the company provided light guidance and said it expected expenses will increase 20% this year. Monthly active users data met analyst expectations, but the company said it's changing the way it reports active users on this service. Here's what Twitter reported. Earnings per share, that's adjusted 31 cents versus 25 cents expected. Uh, revenue of $909 million versus $868.1 million expected. And monthly active users, excluding SMS users, $321 million versus $321 million expected in a fact set consensus. Twitter's outlook for two, uh, the first quarter of 2019 revenue fell within analyst expectations, anticipating $715 million to $775 million, compared with analyst, analyst estimates of $764.9 million. That's versus consensus estimates. Twitter said it expects its cash operating expenses to increase about 20% year over year in 2019 to bolster its initiatives across health conversation revenue product and sales and platform. Investors will likely be scrutinizing Twitter's monthly active user growth. And the third story is from CNBC.com. U.S. Treasury yields fall amid fears of slower global growth. Federal Reserve's Jeremy Powell said on Wednesday that the biggest challenges to the U.S. economy are sluggish productivity and the widening, widening wealth gap. The chair of the Fed spoke at a town hall in Washington, D.C. and asked for more political action to address income inequality. The European Commission revised downward its growth outlook for the Eurozone this year as global trade tensions undermine the bloc's largest economies. The Commission sees Eurozone growth slowing to 1.3% this year from 1.9% in 2018. And our final story today is from Investing.com. U.S. jobless claims fell by 19,000 last week. That's missing estimates. The number of people who filed for unemployment assistance in the U.S. last week fell less than expected, according to official data released Thursday. The number of individuals filing for initial jobless benefits in the week ended February 2nd decreased by 19,000 to a seasonally adjusted 234,000, the U.S. Department of Labor said. Analysts had expected claims to clock in at 221,000 last week. Four-week moving average rose by 4,500 to uh, 224,750 last week. The monthly average is seen as a more accurate gauge of labor trends because it reduces volatility in the week-to-week -week data. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, February 7, 2019, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart, and have a great day. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider.
The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider or via questions at the options insider.com. 